Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody is doing fine and well amidst this COVID-19 virus that we have going on. So please, everybody stay safe and do what they ask you to do. That way this will stop spreading. All right, so with that said, I was recently asked if I can do an updated video on my live well bait bucket. And uh, if you guys have seen my previous video, this is it here. And it has worked out great. The only fault with this was that when I made it, I made it exactly five gallons. So with it being exactly five gallons, it will not fit into another five gallon bucket. You can see here, just won't go in. And I needed that so that I can transport the fish. Otherwise, I had to fill it up with water get all the fish out and transport them on here if I had to go from one location to another. So with that said, I went ahead and made a newer version. Now the newer version is really, really simple to make. I mean, anybody can make it. And so I'm gonna dive into the details on how to do that. One of the things you'll need is this bait bucket lid, specifically made for the five gallon. What you're also going to need is a mesh laundry bag. Really cheap. Good stuff. And of course, the small diameter pool noodle. You don't need the big one. Okay. You'll also need two five gallon buckets. Okay. One's going to get cut, and the other one is the one where you fill it up with water, and it, one bucket can go into the other so that you can transport the fish with, without any issues. So, with that said, let's go ahead and proceed on with the uh, disassembly of my original one so that I can show you how it all went together. Okay, so first thing you got here is your bucket. This pretty, video is going to go pretty quick because it's pretty, pretty easy. What you want to do is mark out four inches it's going to be four inches from this lip okay so there's your four inches you're going to mark it going all the way around because this is where you're going to cut it now this bucket I'm not going to cut because this is my water bucket. I already have it cut. So let's just go right to it. Alright, here it is. Here's your four inches. Just to show you. Okay. Now you want to take your hand, your wire handle off. You won't need it anymore because it won't work. Not for this application. Okay. Now you're gonna take your pool noodle. You're gonna wrap it all the way around, but you're gonna leave an opening just like here, and preferably right by one of the holes where your wire handle goes. And I'll explain to you in a minute why. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna take this apart, but you can see how I drilled holes and tie wrapped tie wrap the foam on there okay really 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 simple now the next thing you want to do is get your netting okay now I'm gonna keep the tight end out here by that opening I told you about and what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap this around in behind your pool noodle like I'm doing here Just can't get a break with all the noise. All right, 
right, so now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and tighten it. Okay, now your netting is in. So now what you want to do is take your lid, okay, and now we're going to snap it into place. And that's it, she's on. Really, really simple. Okay, now you want to take some sort of paracord or whatever and make yourself a handle so that you can carry this because the pool noodle is not going to let you use the wire the original wire handle anymore now when you need to transport the fish you fill it up with water and now you can easily dump your fish in the water here so that that way they'll survive to your next rendezvous point until you can take this back out like that and then put the fish back in the water now if you don't have a lot of fish you can go ahead and make a knot like this for less fish okay really really simple and that's it that's it guys I don't think it can get any easier than that Hope that's helped you out. Until the next one. All right, I told you it was easy. Very, very simple to make and really, really cheap. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Hope to see you in the next video. And as always, be careful out there. Life's short, don't make it shorter. All right, guys.